Smash Beefy Dudes uploaded a video called 100 Tips and Tricks for All Characters in Smash 4. Now obviously being a Wario main I was very excited to see if I could learn a couple of things but uh, I was very very disappointed. Usually Wario can only spawn one bike while being airborne even if the first one already despawned. But if he drives the first one off stage from the ground he can still use another one while being airborne. If Wario uses down B right next to his bike or any other hurt box the waft's hitbox will stay active for much longer. So I fucking snapped and said smash beefy dudes I like you all I really do I will take each of you out for a nice dinner that was pretty underwhelming <laughs> so I'm going to take the matter into my hands and teach you all a very cool situational probably not practical Wario trick but it's, it's pretty cool So you guys might be familiar with this one little clip. Control with a forward tilt. Oh no. Oh nice. Just, okay. Up tilt not doing his job this time. Oh, oh my god. Oh! Look at that. It looks so slick. We're going to come back on that pretty soon. Hello and welcome to the pilot episode of Teaching Z's, where I teach you the cool and tricks and shit and blah 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 about Wario. Now why do I call this as a pilot episode? This series was supposed to be introduced in Super Smash Bros Ultimate but I said you know what let me just do a pilot episode and let's see if people are into it. So today we are going to learn about reverse bike. Now this tech is actually not really that practical it's actually more a of a situational tech it could a lot of the times maybe sometimes grant you the clutch win it is actually pretty simple but yet hard at the same time once you are on the very edge of a ledge or platform you press side b in a direction you're facing and then you flicker the other direction for the successful reverse bike. Now over here I did it twice because I was airborne. Note that you cannot do reverse bike and then do it again once you hit the ground. Alright so let's just break it down. You side B on the very edge of the ledge. Do not hold side B just press side B and then once you do it you flicker the other direction for you to make a successful reverse bike. If you press side B too long, you'll just run off with the bike. You could even reverse bike from the Smashville platform and actually go to the ledge with absolutely no lag. Now let's come back to this. The reason why Glutini was able to do it without being even that close to the ledge is because these things over here in Lilats, they actually act like ledges. And that's actually pretty interesting to know because he... He is just so smart, man. His job this time. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh! Look at that! It looks so slick! Yo, even Moose, I was surprised. He was like, really? Hope you guys enjoyed this pilot episode of Teaching Z's. We'll be right back for more Teaching Z's in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, share it with your Wario homies, or if you wanna become Wario main yourself. I don't know why would you, but okay. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, or actually have a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys in another video, and as always, stay gassy.